So I am making a video series about each and every section in my planner slash journal. Uh, and I have talked about my sections a lot before, but I thought this time I will devote an entire video to each section so that there's some focus and you can watch just one video if you're interested in one section or you can watch them all. So this introductory video is just an overview of all the sections to explain sort of what we're working with. And what we're working with is a setup with two notebooks that I've glued together. So I, I use uh, Leuchtturms because I fell down the rabbit hole and I can't get out. You can use any old books, but I have a front book and a back book. So these are different books. Together, they comprise 500 pages, which is rather the point. So I took off the front cover of this notebook and the back cover of this one and I glued them together. You know, these sturdy pages at the front and back, I glued them together. And I also put uh, some gaffer tape around the spine because it helps to keep it intact and just, uh, I don't know, it, it feels like it gives some... I like it, okay? So, the different sections that I will be talking about in the coming videos are, to begin with, the planning section, the monthly booklet, as I have been known to call it, uh, where my daily planning takes place and my tracking. Then, I have a section for weekly memories, and some pages where I write a line every morning is part of my morning routine. I call them my daily lists. Things like gratitude, wins, what do I want, uh, gratitude for my husband, all those good things. After that comes a section where I sketch a face or a figure or part of a face. Every morning is kind of the the idea uh, doesn't really work out that way. I try to do it every morning, but if I miss a few days, I try to catch up. Then I have a section that I, I used to call daily doodles. It's like almost like bullet journaling where you just put some events for each day. You know, what you ate, what you watched, what you did. Um, I don't doodle that much, so I don't know if that's what I'm going to call them in future, but that's a section. It's like, you know, quick journaling. Then I have a section that I call development, where I track things about my physical health, my energy levels, my feelings and my projects. Then comes a section that I call reflections, where I... Um, reflect on the things I consume, like films and books and stuff. And I try to not just mindlessly consume things, but also think about them, think about what I like, what I don't like, and so on. Uh, finally, in the front book, I have a random section for morning pages, idea generation, random scribbles, emotional purges, things of that nature. So that's the front book. Then comes the back book, which is more long term. Uh, the front book I switch out every month. So this is a March book. I have just glued it to the back book. Uh, yesterday I had the February book here. Yeah. So this is uh, kind of um, transitory, I guess, daily planning and journaling that becomes history every month. But the back book, the project part of my setup, is more long term, more permanent. So I have my work projects, that's one section. Then I have, let's see, this is kind of a, <laughs> this section is for random scribbles, like when you're in meetings or when you brainstorm stuff, I just jot down whatever I'm thinking or what I need to remember, but it's not things that I want to keep 
long term. So then I art journal over it. So it's both random scribbles and art journaling. Uh, then comes my home uh, project section with its own tabs, one tab for each section. Um, yeah, and then comes my calendar section where I have calendar spreads for a whole year, basically. Yeah, so the final one is February 2023. Let's see if we all live by then. <laughs> Sorry, morbid humor. Finally, in the back, the very back of the back book, I have my Sunday Maybe section with all the projects I would one day like to do, but which are all on the back burner. And I have some per permanent info as well, like, you know, uh, ID cards and stuff like that, you know, when they expire. Uh, and I also might have to mention, uh, my, I have a graveyard for my tabs. No, it's not a graveyard, but I, I store them in the back book because that's also something that is long term. So let's see. I don't want to forget anything I was to say. So this video with the overview, you can refer back to it just to get a feel for what's in my setup. But I will focus on each section in a separate video and in each video I might refer to other sections than the one I'm currently talking about because for example in the planning section I might have to talk about the project section because you know they are interlinked I use them I use all the sections all the time uh, but I will focus mainly on one section at a time um, yeah, so if you find that you don't get what I'm talking about when I, I'm in here, in this section, and I'm talking about my project section, you might want to jump to that video just to see, you know, what's the project section. But I will name the videos chronologically. I mean, I will start with the, the planning section, I will continue with the memories, and so on. So hopefully this will give you an idea of how I use my system and how my setup works.